So this is a video of our trip to the Outer Banks. We, we left on Saturday morning, October 3rd. It was about, well, we got up at three o'clock, and so we left before. We tried to leave about four. We kind of had to come circle back after a couple miles because we forgot our bag and uh, came back to get that. So we got going about 4.30. About 4.30. Yeah. And so this is this is the bridge going across the um, sound. It takes you right into Kitty Hawk. And what I did is I, I filmed the last probably 20 miles of the ride uh, in and such just to get, a, get a, something to see of the Outer Banks. So I don't know. It was the first trip for for Zephyr, and she she seemed to do really good. She kind of sat in the back of the car and, and rested and relaxed quite a bit. Yeah, Maverick. Uh... I think knew where he was going so he just kind of walked around and he rested some. But he, yeah, he looked out the windows like like he knew where he was going and, and knew this was a familiar trip and was sort of excited about uh, the ride and such too. So it was, it was pretty cool. So we're coming up here. Um, this is the road that goes through Kitty Hawk. Um, we come up here to the next traffic light and we turn um, left and that takes us to the northern beaches where we're staying. Um, we did pretty good trout time-wise. I mean, we got going, you know, early, <clears throat> and we got at this point. It was probably about four. No, it was probably about five o'clock. And that's after stopping for for dinner. We found a barbecue place along the way in Kurtuk. Um, Kurtuk barbecue. That was pretty good. Yeah. It was real quick. Yeah, it was real quick and real good. Yeah, yeah. They had you had the quarter chicken. Yeah, I had a full pork and with sides, it was, it was decent. It wasn't that expensive either. So now we're, we're took the took the turn and we're heading towards Duck. The next town we're we'll seeing on this little ride here will, will be Duck, North Carolina. Um, and we put we've got behind us. We're towing our kayaks and our kayak trailer, and in the back of the edge is full of uh, our stuff for the week plus the the two dogs. Um, so we're we're getting ready for this this week. There's it, surprisingly, it wasn't um, raining. We drove down through a lot of rain most of the trip, and, and when we got down here, it was really kind of really surprised to see it was sunny and it was 80 degrees, um, a little breezy. Um, didn't really notice it as we're driving, but when we got out of the car, there's a pretty strong breeze coming off the um, water or off the, off the ocean. Um, what you did, what you do notice, and you're seeing the video when we get closer to where we're staying, it has rained quite a bit here, and so you're seeing a few spots along the side of the road where there's water standing, and when you get to where we're staying, there's quite a bit of water, um, you know, in the in the road, kind of running over the road and underneath some of the buildings and such. So it's they've gotten quite a bit of rain here recently, but uh, <clears throat> this time it was, wasn't bad at all. So we should be coming up on Duck, um, right around this next corner, the little town of Duck. We'll slow down for, for Duck, you can't go that fast, speed limit's only 25 through Duck. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's a quaint little town, you know, your uh, little shops and such, and restaurants, and they have a nice water area where a pier that runs along the, the sound of the, the whole area, like a boardwalk, and then there's a pier off of that that you can launch kayaks on and such. So this is. This is taking us now into Duck. Um, it's kind of a, well, what would you say? Kind of a little higher end um, homes and such through here and shops and such. You're gonna see up, up on the uh, right, you know, as we just exit Duck, you're see the, the, the Duck Deli and barbecue. They have really good barbecue there. We've eaten there. Usually try to eat there a couple times while we're down here. It's a good place to get a, a dinner and, and get it as takeout and take it back to the condo to eat. Um, should be right up around this bend, right here. There's the Duck Deli. So now we're leaving out of Duck, and so our place, our condo, is about halfway between um, Duck and Corella. So we're speed up here a little bit, and um, you know it's kind of. It's probably five mile drive or so to the condo, so it's not too bad. It's you know a lot of um, undeveloped property along the road, but then as you, you know along the ocean and such, there's a lot of places, a lot of 
cottages and, and homes. Um, we this is right up through this area where we stayed the first time we came here with um, the family. We had, had got that big um, house. House. Yeah. And, and was that the first time we came? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. When was that? That was seven. Um, yeah, they were probably like two thousand and six. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we like we like where we're staying now because it's kind of it's convenient to the store across the road, which you see, um, and real close to the to the ocean. I mean, we probably only got I don't know the distance of maybe a quarter of a block to walk yeah. to the ocean. And there is quite a bit of water though. Yeah, we when we got here last night. You know, we got we dropped the trailer off and then went over and got the keys. And came back and we got everything you know, out of the car and um, kind of situated. And then we got the dogs and we took them to it for a walk on the beach. And there was you know quite a bit of water as your as your see to get to the path to the beach. And very windy. Yeah, and and the ocean is really rough. Um, you know. Joaquin, you know, came through or is, or is out there someplace really stirring things up in the ocean. Um, you can see where at high tide in the ocean, there was no beach at high tide. It was right up to the sand dunes. And someplace it actually eroded the sand dunes back a little bit. Um, so you can see some of the steps coming down. All the sands washed away from underneath them. Uh, so really a lot of uh, uh, wind and rain, you know, probably the last couple of days in you know, high, high seas. But we, we were, the tide was going out, so there was a bit of a beach there to walk on, and, and Zephyr was just like thinking she was in another world. Her first time on the beach, and she's looking at the birds and, and the seashells, and she just wanted to chase after everything and, and go for it. She just couldn't believe it. It was you know, such a big, big thing for her. Then Maverick was you know, really excited to be back on the beach. I could tell he remembered being there before. He had a little more pep in his step. You know, as he was walking along and everything. Unfortunately, he is getting up there in years, so it's a little harder for him to go up and down the stairs and and do that stuff. But you know, he did pretty yes, well. Yes, we're talking about you. Yeah, Zephyr's Zephyr Mavericks popped his head up as we talking about the beach and him. Yep. So it was uh, pretty good, pretty good walk last night. We walked right until dark and uh, came back and. And uh, we're tired, so we kind of just watched a little TV and then settled down for the night. And, you know, I played with the videos a little bit and you know, just putting some sound on it this morning before we get out of the house. So we should be coming around the corner here, and let's see, there's the, one of the water towers coming up, so we're getting close. This is the intersection, so the store is like right over here on the left. You can just barely see it. Our turn to the condo is coming right up here on the right. Here we go. We, turn in this is sand fiddlers um, square circle, circle something like that so we have a tennis court across from us um, unless the water comes down a little bit we won't be playing tennis so you can see as you turn here there's a lot of water on the street there and then as you go forward our condos right here on the left and you can see the water actually this picture here is from this morning and there's quite a bit of water there 